In this video, I will talk about the tech tools that you can use for building backgrounds. And so in front of you on your slide, or actually on the slide before the one you're currently on, I have identified four different tools that can help you. So let's go through each of them. So Vocab Ahead is this site here. And what this is great for, this is really geared more for middle and high school students and teachers. And what you can do here is you can um, look at different classes, grade levels. And so, like I said, they and they even have the SAT 300 as well. Um, but what's great about this is it gives you a picture and the definition. And it kind of gives you a little video. So let's look at this one real quick. Amenable. The word amenable means ready to be changed or controlled. Mitch was always amenable to whatever the boss wanted, but his constant willingness to agree got a little irritating to others in the office. He was always submitting to the boss, telling him that everything he did was right, or going along with his ideas for the business. If he'd been a little less amenable, though, the boss wouldn't have liked him as much and would have found someone else to agree with him on everything. Amenable, ready to be changed or controlled. Okay, so, and as you can see, so you can have students watch these on their own. You can give them the list of words ahead of time and say, look these up. Of course, unfortunately, the only bad part about this site is there's not a way to create your own or to add more. So if these words don't work, then you are kind of stuck in terms of using this site. Um, there's also a flashcard portion of this where they give you the word and you can flip it over and see the picture again and the definition it also tells you what part of speech it's from. So a really good piece of building background. Obviously, you need a lot of vocabulary development, and that's mostly what I'm going to discuss here. Um, but let's go on to the next tool. Now, the next tool is called Lucidchart. And Lucidchart or Lucidchart for Education, um, what is great about this is it does integrate with Google Classroom, so you can send this right to students. What else I really like about Lucidchart is they actually have educational ones um, so that you don't have to exactly figure out, you know, what are we going to, which one am I going to use? So, for example, one that I pulled up here um, is for, for vocabulary because that's what we're talking about specifically. So you can put the vocabulary word in, the synonyms, have the kids write some sentences, some antonyms some uh, derivations, and then they give you an example of what it looks like. Um, and so this is, you know, kind of a modified Freyer model, um, but using Lucidchart. And again, like I said, you can always have the kids share um, if you want them to work in pairs or partners. Um, you could even, and I know they don't show it here, but you could even upload an image um, to demonstrate a picture for that word as well. So here is a great another great resource online through Google Classroom um, that you could use. Another thing that I personally like for, for anything building background, remember building background talks about making connections to either prior learning or the student's background, obviously, building background. So one of the things I think is really awesome is YouTube in general. And what is different in our district uh, that hasn't happened before is kids can no longer go to a random video and watch it. So what you need to do as the teacher is if you're going to share this with students, you need to click approve. And now it will be approved for all of the Marshalltown district so the students can watch it. Otherwise, the students won't see the video. They'll see a broken link. Um, so that's just another filter that our tech department has included that is really helpful and useful for our students. Um, and, and like I said, YouTube has a million different things you can use in terms of building that background and helping the students make connections through videos. And another thing that I have um, shared here is Quizlet. And you may or may not be with, uh, familiar with Quizlet, but what Quizlet does is it allows you to create a uh, deck of cards, a study set, and then the kids go through it, and so it's, again, vocabulary building. The kids can go through these vocabulary words on their own, but what else is neat that Quizlet has added is they have added Quizlet Live, 
And with Quizlet Live, then you're working with students in groups, and the kids have to work as a team, because not everybody gets the right answers, to figure out which word works. And so um, all the kids are randomly assigned a group. It's really an amazing and awesome uh, use of this technology. Now, what what I have done with us uh, with Quizlet, as well as Lucid Chart, is I have made a how-to because I know I'm very brief here in terms of just what the tools are. But in the past, I I have done tech tips uh, for my school, so one of them was Lucid Chart. And so here is a video, and I have that linked over here on our little picture here. So you can click on this, and that will take you more in depth of how to create a lucid chart. And then the Quizlet, I have the, using their video um, how to get started on Quizlet and all of those things. So when I am done with the video, you're going to see a picture here on your presentation of this video, a thumbnail from this. Um, but I'm trying to give you more resources. And again, if you are really stuck and you're like, I really want to try this, but I don't know how to get into it, send me an email, you know, post a question. I'm going to have a place in our Google Classroom for questions, and I will be checking it every couple of days and get back to you on how to do these things more in depth. Um, but please use me as a resource. And again, hopefully this will help you to figure out tech tools for building background. Once you have done, once you have finished playing with these, and feel fairly confident with one of these areas, then please move on to comprehensible input. And I will see you.